we're filling it with tap water just to leak test everything and probably drain it out and put in some um, RODI water. Christian. <laughs> What's up guys, it's the next day and I'm working on the Red Sea Reefer and I already ran into some hiccups. Let me show you. So I got all of my junk out and I removed some of the dosers that were right attached right here to the um, side wall and I was taking measurements to cut this board up and kind of mount it in but I took this um, power strip to kind of mock up everything and it's too big it's just too big to fit in um, horizontally sorry for the darkness but here's all the rocker switches but yeah is too long to fit in horizontally so I think I'm gonna scrap that idea and I'm just gonna find a smart plug to work with and not even use this so that's gonna save me a lot of time I'm gonna use this board to kind of mock up something for all of the controllers um, let me show you what I'm talking about so all of the pumps they have um, controllers like this where you can control the the power that's coming from the wave makers and the pumps etc so this one's for the return pump you can control how fast it goes and when to stop it to feed the fish and the corals so I'm gonna use the board to kind of mount up all of the controllers so everything's neat and I'll figure out a way to put it in here neatly so since that's kind of out of the way until the smart power strip comes in I'll just work on the tank right now um, when I assembled everything there's two drain lines and this second drain line right here should be going into the very next chamber where it overflows into um, the socks and I have it positioned in the wrong area so I'm gonna get that fixed right now and I'll check all of the seals and we'll just put water into the tank and see what happens here's a better view of the two drain pipes I originally had this drain pipe going into this section right here in reality it should have been going into this section where all of the drainage goes through this first chamber there should be two um, filter socks right here filtering out all of the detritus and all of the gunk before that water goes into the refugium area so I just got that fixed pretty easy just unscrew the top and then I turned this pipe um, to the right and this elbow angled it down into the right chamber so it looks like everything's in place I'm just gonna hand check everything real quick and I'll clean out whatever's inside the tank right now and then I'll add a little bit of water and see how it goes sorry for the glare guys but right now I'm doing the leak test I'm just putting water directly into the center overflow just to check if any of these three pipe stands are leaking it looks dry so far you can see right there you could see the water partially in but I'm gonna continue filling it and see what happens so I got the water going it's almost to the top the bottom's not leaking I'm gonna let the water overflow into the pipes into the sump so here we got the water coming into the emergency drain we want to open this valve up to let it through the drain Hold on. 
I honestly should have looked up instructions on how to install everything. Um, I put these two pipes backwards. So this shorter pipe should be on the right side with this attached. And then the middle one is the emergency drain. That's because on the bottom, this um, fixture right here with the valve attaches to the the pipe that's to the furthest to the right and that allows you to um, control how fast the the water flows through to create a herbie drain i guess and this is just the emergency pipe where if um, for some reason this drain fails this pipe would be there to allow for drainage okay this is the second shot just testing the drainage filling up that um, center drain overflow we're checking on the bottom right here to see if anything's leaking it looks fine so I'm gonna let it fill up and see what happens so the water's filling right now and I opened up the drain and I'm letting it go through everything right here looks fine so I'm just gonna start filling up the tank now we're filling up with tap water just to leak test everything and probably drain it out and put in some um, RODI water Christian <laughs> So the power, um, the water's almost to the top. We're gonna let it overflow into the sump area and see what happens. Gonna let the sump area fill up. And then I got this mark right here where it says pump on the water level. So I'm gonna let it fill up and then we'll turn the pump on and check all of the fittings to make sure it's okay. Um, more concerned with the reactors because I don't, didn't really know how to assemble it. Hopefully it's right. I got my little helper right here. Say hi Christian. <laughs> Gonna, here you go, it's overflowing. You can hear it trickling down. Hold it tight Christian. You can hear it going down. You can see it right here. Oh no. Turn off mom. Turn off. So you can see the pipe right here is leaking a little bit. So I gotta figure that out. Good thing it's going into the drain. Okay, I got the pump plugged in and we're going to see what happens when um, I plug it in. I have the water filled up to the line up top and right here I added a little extra. It says pump on and the line's right here, but I added a little extra because I know that water's going to fill all of these pipes and the reactors and everything. So here we go. I'm going to plug everything in and see how it goes. Or I have it on the lowest setting. Holy crap. The reactors look like they're holding. See if I have any leaks. I don't even know if the reactors are um, assembled correctly, but I need a um, yeah, I need to ask Johnson to come by and help me one day to confirm everything is correctly um, in line, all of the sponges, the sequence, and everything. But oh shit, 
it's leaking up top. It doesn't look too bad. Um, I saw a lot of, it, I saw water seeping out of the top right here, but I guess there was too much pressure coming through this gate valve, so I adjusted it down. It seems fine now, but I still need to double check everything. And it's kind of fine tuning all of these um, gates right here, but everything seems like it's working fine right now. I only have it on the lowest setting for this um, j bell pump but you can see everything flowing through I don't have I have a slight leak on the emergency valve but the water's coming up and it's overflowing in it's overflowing in right now I need to um, dial it in so that the water's just right on top where the um, emergency overflow is at so let's see if we can do that right now Looks like it's running perfectly fine. I just need to fine tune everything. So let me give you a rundown of the sump. Everything's overflowing into the Herbie drain. It's the emergency drain. I'm gonna go down. It's the Herbie train with this valve right here. You can control how fast the, the water's draining from your aquarium to kind of silence the noise. This is the emergency drain, so if anything ever happens to this drain, the water, the emergency water would go through this drain right here. Water goes into this section, overflows into socks. The socks would filter out all of the detritus, all the gunk, and that clean water would go into this refugium area where you grow your chato, whatever you want to keep in here. And it flows into this bubble trap and to the return pump. Return pump goes up into this manifold. There's three things active right now so this pump is powering everything for the aquarium. There's two reactors, one for carbon, one for active pellets. This second pipe you can see it goes down and over to this UV pump. UV pump sterilizes the water and the, the um, water exits and goes back into the refugium where it overflows and goes back into the, into the pump again. After all of this, it goes to this last valve right here and that valve goes back up into the um, into the return line right here so it's a pretty cool design and I had someone hit me up from YouTube saying that it looks like his original design and I pinned his comment on that video but I'll leave a link in the description so you guys have all the details that is needed to um, set up a sump similar to this i think it's a very good design and i'm fortunate to have it as my own so right now i just need to like fine tune everything and make sure nothing's leaking but everything looks good and i'm excited for the next couple of weeks i'm going to drain this um tap water and fill it with rodi water mix in the salt and just let it cycle and take our time get everything ready so be sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't be subscribed so you can follow along with this build series just learning along with you guys so so follow along and hopefully we will learn some cool new stuff together i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out